Now I've used this Kola Solar 1000 for up to a week. It's finally time for me to actually do a review on this product just like I promised you. My first experience or what I noticed is that it was actually heavier than I thought. So hi guys, you're welcome to Blog Info Tech YouTube channel and Chibuzo Agua is my name in case you are coming across this channel for the first time. And like I said in the intro, today we shall be reviewing this baby right here. You can see I'm actually carrying it with my two hands. That's the Kola Sula 1000. This is the least version. They have other higher versions. So I've used this for a week and so like I said, it's time for me to tell you what you'll expect of this device if you intend buying it. After watching this video, you can actually make a choice if you want to purchase this device or you want to go for the higher grade or you said no you want to go for another device entirely so um let's get started like i will normally do this an unedited video unscripted video so if you have any questions that i might not talked about in this video that i might not have covered in this video uh, simply go to the comment section of course i will attend to them and once i know what you're asking about all related to this device please because this is a video talking about Kola solar 1000 so don't ask about any other power stations um you can go to my playlist and see other videos that have reviewed other power stations and ask your questions about that power station right there and of course i will attend to you so now the first thing you should note is that once you decide to buy this device um just like the normally says uh, um Kola solar 1000 it simply means this device um, has an uh, this very one gives out um one kilowatts of power one kilowatts hour of power which simply means it dish out one thousand watts of power in an hour and um the output is actually two thousand two hundred watts so um, which means you shouldn't um connect a device that is above 200 watts to this very cool as solar 1000 if you are going for the higher grade of course you can connect as much device as you want in my um youtube shot i actually said that i connected this to my um the house yes to my changeover switch i actually did that but what i did is that um i don't normally connect um my tv whatsoever i want to turn on if i'm using this device once there's no power grid i don't upload it more than 200 watts i normally it's even below 200 because what i normally turn on is actually the tv then maybe my decoder my router and nothing else and maybe lights and bulb of course if you calculate all those it shouldn't be up to 1000 so 1000 watt power which simply means it gives out 1000 watts in an hour so now let's say for instance you upload or you you turn on, turn on this device and the device you connected to this is let's say maximum of 200 watts which simply means 200 watts divided by 1000 is five hours so if you are uploading or connecting um devices that are up to 200 watts to this it will last you five hours so don't get it twisted once yours uh, let me say um once yours uh, gets drained of the power in the battery get drained off within few um hours compared to some other people that last in a day it's actually dependent on the device you're connected to now if you go to the carton of this device um if you bought this you see um an indication the specification is right there for you to see um the model the <coughs> the rated power 200 watts like i told you the rated capacity one kilowatts hour the ac output voltage is 200 to 240 volts which is quite correct i've tested that now the ac input voltage is 176 to 264 volt now let me explain things for you now if you want to charge this um it comes with two uh, you can charge it which two means you must have seen that um the first right here is actually that of the power cable and this one is for the pv which is the solar panel and the pv rating is between um 12 to 36 volts which means if you want to use solar panel on this device you shouldn't connect a panel that is higher than 36 volt and below 12 volts as simple as that then the um the ac input is actually two yes 220 volts it's right there now let me explain to you if you're living in an area whereby there is the power grid or the nepal let me put it that way is below 220 volt trust me this won't charge that's why most people normally complain that um they connected their device and the power cable to the nepal let me show you the power cable it's right, it's right here there's a power cable there's a power cable yes it's here there's the ones they connect this to power it won't charge and if it doesn't charge this last indicator instead of flashing green it actually show red which means it's not charging why it doesn't charge is that the power voltage that your grid or your nepa is actually producing is below 220 volts once it's below 220 volts trust me this device won't charge so it doesn't mean that the device is not working properly 
is actually dependent on the power supply of your area which you are living so that is the first thing you should take note instead of once you notice that you start complaining that yes you bought a bad device or maybe the device you bought is fake no it's from your power supply note that and for this i've never um used um a solar panel to charge it because i didn't come i didn't buy a solar panel with this wire buying so i just trust that yes i'll be using the power cable that's nepa or the grid to charge this so that's what i've been doing for a while and it has been lasting me now um on low usage i normally use this more than a day trust me guys more than a day because like i said i've told you what i normally connected to this so it's just my tv my phone my router and what else light bulbs and it works perfectly because yes we don't normally have light and this always comes in handy for me so these are things you should note like i said note ensure that yes the power supply in your area is up to 20 volts if not it wouldn't charge with power don't start complaining that yes you bought the wrong device that is that so what else um if you like go to the carton it shows you um the various hours by which um the device for example if you if you connected the bulb of 10 watts it will last you 90 hours if you connected the fan of 30 watts it will last you 30 hours if you connected your tv which is normally below 100 watts like 90 watts like just like they indicated yeah, you use this device for 10 hours if you connected your laptop um of course your pc which is 50 watts or some pcs normally below that i mean above that sorry so last 18 hours and your phone which has a 30 3000 milliampere hour it will charge you 900 times trust me i'm not trying to have this device but yes i've used it for a week just like i told you and it serves me properly and it is okay so now i've said most of the things you would like to hear yes you can connect it to your house but ensure that the device you're connecting to this should be below 200 watts then what else um always ensure that once you're charging it with nepa um your light should be above or around 220 volts sharp once it's below 220 volts this won't charge to so show you that red indication i want to show that red indicator all you have to do is to um hold press this um, power switch for some seconds it will trip off then you once you power it on again the device must have reset and it will come back to normal so that's all you have to know about this cola Sola 1000 it has a bigger version cola Sola um 2000 which produces two um kilowatts hour of power and also i mean i'm very much sure yes that the battery will be larger than this one like i said this is very heavy um, compared to what I thought it was. So this is all you should know about the Kola Solar 1000. If you um, want to ask any question, um, drop your comments in the comment section and I will attend to them. Um, again, note that once you're buying this, uh, most suppliers or most sellers doesn't include the PV cord. Um, so I'm selling separately. This is the PV cord, is still in the nylon. Okay, yes, as you can see here. So ensure that yes, they have this PV cord included in your package. If not, tell them to put it in case you want to start charging um, this with the solar panel. So with that, we've come to the end of this video. Like I said, this device is worth buying as for what I've used it on for a week. So it's left for you. Um, if you want to go to a higher version of the device, yes, make your choice after watching this video. So with that, we've come to the end of this video. I want to make it as brief as possible, but if you are still confused, go to the comment section, ask your question then. Of course, our conversations will continue down there. So that's all you have to know about the Kola Solar 1000 coming from Chibuzo and Blogging Fintech. So we'll see my next video. And in case you um, you still want to, you can share this video for all your guys to see that. And subscribe to this channel if you want to see more review from me. And of course, like this video, share, to your friends and so much sure you subscribe before leaving this channel because that will make it part of this channel you get notified whenever i'm putting up my next video um it wasn't necessarily be a review video but it's a technology related channel of course you see um other tutorial videos right here on this channel we'll see you on the next one bye bye for now